Hi guys, Mr. Johnny here, and I decided to show you another little circuit. This time it's a discrete circuit, quite useful little circuit, and um, its function is really simple. It behaves pretty much like a trigger flip flop, or excuse me, like a toggle flip flop. Essentially, it changes state each time a clock pulse arrives. I'm gonna simulate clock pulse with this lead. I'm gonna touch it to the positive rail and you will see that LED will toggle on and off and it will be stable. You can see it doesn't have to be a long pulse, short pulse will do. See, and if I gonna put like that, it's stable, it doesn't oscillate or anything. Same applies if I'm gonna turn it off. It's very stable, very nice. Um, schematic of the circuit I found on the web, and it's actually a very nice little circuit. I like it a lot. Very simple, as you can see, based on RS flip flop, which looks like this. You can see you can turn the load on and off. No, not the load, you can change the state on the output by two push buttons here or you can put transistors there and have two different inputs which will be controlled individually to turn the output high or low or you can actually I spent some time with the circuit and turned it into something that looks similar to a D flip flop which looks like this I added two additional transistors, very crude way, I know it sucks, but believe it or not, it works just fine. It's controllable by one line, and you can switch it on with a short zero pulse, and you can switch it off with a short high pulse. It doesn't have to be too, it doesn't have to be a long pulse, short pulse will do just fine. And it will latch and hold that state for indefinite time as long as the power is applied, of course. This circuit is always quite different to both of them. Well, they are similar that they all have two transistor RS flip flops in the, as the basis, but this one uses a clever combination of passives around it. This RC charging networks and these two steering diodes to turn the scene on and off via one line and via one transition. So all you need to do is to pull this out input low and the scene will change state to the opposite one. That's, this resembles a toggle flip-flop. So and actually, to make it work quite nice, you can, you should go and pull this input high via a rather large resistance. I use 10 mega ohms and it works well. And in this situation, I actually use the transistor there because I need this output to go low to trigger the circuit. So I just went and added a transistor. The meter goes to ground. There is 470k resistor to keep the transistor shut off. And there is a small capacitor to get rid of the noise on the line and to prevent false triggerings. This, in my case, is 47 nanofarads. You can experiment with it. And another application for it is a clap switch. Let me connect it up here to this operational amplifier preamp. And you will see that it works just fine. As you say, it works just fine. It can be a clap switch. If you want, you can make this thing, this thing fully discrete. 
just go and make a high gain microphone preamplifier and you'll be fine. You can actually use the circuit for whatever um, uh, whatever applications you want. You can use some uh, another some additional circuitry to make an RF RF remote to make an um, IR remote. E.g., you can use any IR remote and just point it there, press a button, hold it for some time, and the signal will toggle. But you will uh, need to add additional circuitry to it to make it do so. I'm gonna probably cover it in uh, the next video. IR, that will be infrared remote, yes. So that's about it. Hope you like it. Thanks for watching. See ya.